Hi everyone, my name is Lindsay Jacoby and I'm a sophomore here at the University of Delaware. For my final performance, I'm going to perform an original poem that I wrote about Patricia Bath. Many of you may not know who Patricia Bath was, and I didn't know who she was prior to taking this class, but I found out that she is one of the most renowned ophthalmologists that this world has ever seen. She's also the first African American woman to receive a medical patent. She was a true pioneer in her feed, and I'm very grateful that I had the chance to learn about such an incredible woman. Hello, Miss Giacobi. How are you feeling today? Hi, Dr. Bath. I feel alright. Your eyes, um, how are they adjusted to everything? Um, I'm in a little bit of pain, but it's not too bad. Okay. Um, well, right now I'm going to just ask you to take off your bandages, and I will leave them on for you. And how are you feeling? Wow. Feeling. I, I can see. That's amazing. Well, okay. So this is going to be our standard test. It's going to be you reading an excerpt. That chart? Yes. Please go ahead and read it so we can check your, um, your adjustments. Oh, these eyes, how desperately they long to see the world. So much so that these hands spent years building the impossible. These hands that made vision a right, made lasers a tool. These hands that seemed small, but held a revolution. All they had to do was see it as she, as she did. Oh, these eyes, how openly they belonged to us all, not discriminating, but rather soaking up all the colors of the world, not only for our fathers, but their daughters and sons. Oh, to all the eyes that belonged so openly to all of us, so much so that it was the protocol of the brave to make sure we all knew that vision was of you. Like that of a sunset outlook, like that of toddler's doodles, like that of all the stories around the world, that it was a mean to see who they would become too as she did, that she was a vision within herself. Oh, these eyes, how desperately they longed to see the world. Oh, Miss Patricia Bath, how courageously you made sure they do just that.